So I asked the other day, will Gotham Knights outperform Marvel's Avengers? And it was a really important question because back when I last made a video surrounding Gotham Knights was pretty much back when it more or less got announced and we saw some gameplay etc etc. And back then no one really knew the route that Marvel's Avengers was heading down as well so in some sort of perspective we couldn't even be in a position to try and compare it to another game. But now the question is out there, do you actually think it will outperform Marvel's Avengers? Get in the comments below and let me know why you think that might be the situation. As always, if you do go on to enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated and go ahead and click that big red subscribe button below if you haven't already because I know a lot of people really want me to cover this game so here I am essentially back with some more opinions on the direction of this game and how I really feel about it because one thing we know is that loads of games are getting pushed back right we've had so many games already that have had to switch their release date there's been games that were super anticipated last year but only last year having a major effect basically caused that game to essentially be destroyed and it all kind of went south right it's happened to so many game studios and now people are thinking in the long run right which makes sense because working from home etc etc but here's the thing we more or less are like 95% positive that Gotham Knights will not be delayed until next year and the reason simply for that is because well they more or less would have come out now anyway or given some sort of indication that that may well be the case right but considering they haven't that just gives you a clear indication that they're pretty much positive as well that they won't need to go down that road but is it going to outperform Marvel's Avengers is it going to be a better game overall without even talking numbers than Marvel's Avengers so here's my opinion Gotham Knights Marvel's Avengers we're talking Marvel we're talking DC so instantly two complete polar opposites right but ultimately the same sort of I guess vision now the good thing with Gotham Knights is it's not a live service game and essentially there's an open world aspect to it right in some sort of perspective and I do think that when it comes down to superhero games it's what it lacks in apart from Spider-Man right but when you have an open world superhero game and you basically take things in, well, into consideration like density you know side missions customization etc etc then providing you can pretty much nail down all of these points you could more or less have a pretty successful you know superhero open world video game without a doubt because well there's a huge huge market for it now you're probably seeing a lot of screenshots or one really cool screenshot throughout this video alongside some gameplay for from Gotham Knights and it really just shows you know the I guess the aspiration it has and I even posted this in my community tab as well just showcasing the city right as a whole one how it really shows the potential and it was a screenshot with Robin Hood right and overall it gets you really really excited but the difference between these two games is I do think it's going to outperform Marvel's Avengers 100% I genuinely think that that's not on the basis of how bad Marvel's Avengers did because you still got to take into consideration you know pre-orders and also what's going to be interesting to see go down with this is Gotham Knights a brand new game right we're not talking like a Batman game or well, Batman Arkham City game we're not talking essentially a sequel to that yes the game the game is going to have Batman in it but uh, that being said it's still not a sequel to a game so this is where it does get more interesting because really this game and Marvel's Avengers are essentially in that same position prior to their launch anyway where it's a brand new game in the field with existing characters in a universe which is what drives people to that video game anyway however if the game doesn't get things really simple things such as really good marketing and not just that when they do the marketing they're not just showcasing boring things then yes it would definitely get way more pre-orders and overall have more of a higher chance of actually having an increased survival rate I guess you could say where a game wouldn't essentially go dry within the first month but something that we do need to take into consideration is that I keep saying we've got two polar opposite games right one a live service one not a live service game I do think live service video games in general are 
actually an issue within themselves because they're really hard to pull off. When you compare it to other live services games, it's not really a good track record where you could say, right, I aspire to be that successful if you make, well, if that makes sense. I mean, you can compare a game like Destiny, etc. But I think when it comes down to Marvel's Avengers, the key thing that keeps it solely alive is if it was for the story, all right, and this is just to be brutally honest, if it was a story mode only sort of game where you do the story and it's done and dusted, you never really go back to it unless you want to do customization or just hop in for a bit of combat, then the game would 100% easily been done within its first month. The only reason that game still, I guess, sticks around and stays on people's minds is because of the extended DLC content, right? All these add-ons that are going to be coming essentially over the next couple of years, at least we hope anyway. That's the sole thing that really keeps Marvel's Avengers having that more likelihood of when it comes down to like a, an outperformance sort of wise in terms of beating Gotham Knights. As far as I'm aware, Gotham Knights stands as a game where yes, there's going to be characters in there that are really fun to play. Play. Yes, they are going to be high profiled characters within that universe, but is there going to be a sufficient amount of DLC content at a frequent level where, of course, you're just consistently playing the game? And then another thing to take into consideration is just maps in general. When you're on the same map, no matter how good a game it could possibly be, it can get very, very boring. And a game I would like to actually compare this to is Spider Man Miles Morales first, well, versus the first first Spider-Man game because essentially we've got one map the same map right but we've just got a different character but we all had high expectations for Miles Morales and yes it was a good game however its success rate compared to the first uh, version of Spider-Man wasn't as good and I can genuinely say that if it was a complete different map right with way more density and a different aspect then I think it would have been way more successful it's purely because people looked upon it as a simple DLC because you're still in the same location I don't want to sound like I'm being biased here or if I'm sort of going off you know off the trail I guess you could say with when it comes down to the logic side of things but hopefully you guys can see what I'm trying to get at here it really comes down to small features in the game so far I think Gotham Knights looks fantastic I do think it will outperform these games purely if it gets in enough hype behind it but in the longevity aspect of the game that's where I don't really want to give a yes or no answer I guess for we still have to find out more information for the game the screenshots we have seen have been really really incredible the gameplay we've seen looks incredible the combat looks fantastic and it's small things like this that makes you excited for a game but again we still have to find out more and then we have to see the longevity of the game but I I wanted to make this video surrounding that topic because it's a hot take, right? It's got a lot of people talking and I'm sure you guys are in the comments right now if you've made it this far anyway, leaving all your opinions on this matter in the comment section below. But it's a tough one, but you really have to see how it, I guess, plays out and, and re re really where it, it kind of weighs in, like if you want to say, well, Marvel's Avengers just completely, if it was not a live service game and it was a one-off similar to how Gotham Knights is going to be, then would it just fail? Well, yes, it would, right? You've got to just be brutally honest like that but guys leave your thoughts on this in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos